Just 12 astronauts have walked on the lunar surface since the Apollo lunar lander first delivered humans to the moon. While nobody has set foot on its surface since 1972, plans are in place to return people to the moon. Some people, including American entrepreneur Jeff Bezos, are envisioning steps much further ahead, creating a human colony on the moon. Today we're going to talk all about Bezos' Blue Origin Lunar Lander, aka Mission Blue Moon. Stick with us till the end to know how the Amazon CEO got in touch with the space stuff. Now, let's fly off to today's video. What is this blue moon? Think something happening once in a blue moon is rare? Actually, blue moons are fairly common, at least in astronomical terms. First things first, a blue moon has nothing to do with the color of the moon. Instead, it is all to do with the timing of full moons during the year. Normally, blue moons come only about every two or three years. In 2020, unusually, we had two blue moons in one year and they were in consecutive months of October and November. And one was a penumbral lunar eclipse. The next time we get two blue moons in a year will be in 2037. Since you're clear about this blue moon, let's see what's with the blue moon lander. Blue moon lander. So why have a separate blue moon lander when there's a mission Artemis from NASA? In order to increase our knowledge of the moon and carry out experiments on its surface, people and machinery need to be delivered by lunar landers. One of these currently being developed is the Blue Moon Lander, created by the privately funded aerospace manufacturer Blue Origin. The company, which also focuses on space tourism, is owned by Jeff Bezos. The Blue Moon wasn't selected for NASA's Artemis missions, but Blue Origin hopes to use the Moon Lander in future missions and achieve a sustained human presence in space, according to their website. Lunar Lander Technology The Blue Moon Lander, which began development work in 2016, uses autonomous technology to land with precision. Equipped with LiDAR, light detection and ranging sensors, Blue Origin claims that it is guaranteed to land within 23 meters of a pre-planned landing spot. To scan the moon, laser beams are fired at its surface to create a computerized image of the terrain. This prevents the lander from descending onto hazards and allows the flattest nearby surface to be chosen. This really matters because no matter the size, the space machines do cost a fortune, so intact landers are more than welcome. When in lunar orbit, the lander can release microsatellites into space. Then, once on the moon, the lander will release other apparatus, such as rovers from its top deck. The equipment that is attached to the lander can be altered based on specific missions, for those requiring human presence and to return equipment and lunar samples to Earth. An ascent module can be added. This launches from the lunar lander to travel back to Earth. Refueling in space whether it's a vehicle on Earth or in space, one thing they'll need is plenty of fuel to make the round trip. So if there was a refueling method available, it would be great. The Blue Moon Lander uses liquid hydrogen as fuel. This propellant was chosen with future possibilities in mind as well. Scientists now know that there is water ice on the moon, from which hydrogen can be extracted. By choosing these elements to power the lander, Bezos hopes that one day the spacecraft can be refueled in space using the moon's resources. When separating water into its elements, oxygen is also released. This can be used in breathing apparatus. Blue Moon Lander Facts and Its Goal The Blue Moon Lunar Lander has enough fuel to go from Earth to the moon. It will be powered by a new rocket engine named BE-7 which can provide 10,000 pounds, 4,535 kilograms of thrust. The Blue Moon reusable vehicle will transport research instruments, satellites, and rovers. It is capable of delivering cargo to the lunar surface, deploying up to four self-driving rovers, and launching satellites into lunar orbit. A pressurized vehicle for humans is also in the works. The Blue Moon will weigh 33,000 pounds when it lifts off from Earth but this will drop to around 7,000 pounds when it approaches the moon. The goal is for the moon to settle on the moon's south pole, where ice deposits have been discovered in craters. The water extracted from the ice may be broken down to make hydrogen, which can then be used to power spacecraft for future voyages around the solar system. Blue Moon Anatomy Let's see about the lunar lander's design and functions. Lander Size 
the lander can carry up to four large rovers at the same time. Exploration Rovers These rovers can go scan the moon. Rocket Engine Bezos says the BE-7 engine is a flexible, high-performance rocket engine. Lander Pads The lander pads can help Blue Moon land safely on the moon. Taller Legs the lander is designed with significant space under the body to avoid lunar obstacles. The spherical tank. When the fuel tank is full. Lowering system. The autonomous spacecraft has a crane system to lower its payload down onto the moon. The human landing system. We all know that basically this lunar lander is a cargo ship. But there is a rumor that Bezos is planning to make it a human landing system, i.e send real humans there just like years ago. But within that is hidden an idea for space tourism. Are you ready to find out what it's all about and what NASA has to say about it? Blue Origin has won a $579 million contract to develop a lunar lander for NASA's Artemis program. It's the first time since the Apollo era that NASA has had direct funding for a human landing system. The company and its partners are still competing with SpaceX and Dynetics for the final contract. Only two of the three projects will be selected to make it to the next round, and they're expected to be awarded soon. The ILV will include elements for lunar transfer, as well as descent and ascent. The ascent vehicle will mate with the other two craft, so they can all land together as one cohesive unit. The spacecraft could launch aboard a US rocket, or it would hitch a ride on Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket. It could also dock with NASA's Orion capsule or even the Lunar Gateway. But think about this as well. What if NASA let the mission Artemis have this human landing system on the Blue Moon as well? Won't all of Bezos' efforts be in vain? Jeff Bezos' revelation on the concept. So far, what we have said are all the facts and rumors. But let us tell you all about what Bezos himself said about the moon lander concept. Trust me when I say, he has a bigger dream than just sending astronauts to the moon. Mr. Bezos sought to increase access to the moon because he has a larger vision of a future in which people may live and work in space. Which is now not conceivable. The cost of doing fascinating things in space right now is simply too expensive since there is no infrastructure, he explained. To demonstrate this, he displayed images of self-sustaining space colonies capable of supporting humans, animals, and plants, which are comparable to those produced by Princeton physicist Gerard O'Neill. Wow, I mean, first it was colonizing Mars, and now we've got plans to be on the Great Moon as well? I'll be counting my fingers to see which one I can go to first. Won't you all too? By the way, did you hear all the bidding and stuff with Bezos and NASA has gone a tiny bit of a bad turn. Do you want to know about it? Jeff Bezos' Gamble with NASA In blunt legal filings obtained, Blue Origin gambled with its Moonlander proposal last year by hoping NASA would be willing to negotiate its $5.9 billion price tag. Agency attorneys argued in blunt legal filings that NASA cash-strapped with a tight budget from Congress declined to negotiate and turned down Blue Origin's lunar lander in April and picked SpaceX's instead, sparking ongoing protests from Bezos' space company. Oops, Elon did it again, didn't he? NASA officials haven't talked much about Blue Origin's legal quarrels beyond occasional acknowledgments that the company's protests, first at a watchdog agency and now in federal court, are holding up the agency's effort to land humans on the moon by 2024. But in hundreds of pages of legal filings, The Verge obtained in a Freedom of Information Act request, agency attorneys exhaustively laid out NASA's defense of its Artemis moon program and doubled down on its decision to pick one company, SpaceX, for the first crewed mission to the lunar surface since 1972. Well, it seems billionaires seem to clash no matter which path they take, doesn't it? So folks, that'll be all for today's video. What's your opinion on Bezos' Blue Moon Lunar Lander? Would it be able to go against NASA's Artemis and do something more than that? Would his dream about colonizing the moon, just like how Elon wants to colonize Mars, become successful? 
do leave a comment about your thoughts down below in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Click the like button before you leave too. So until next time, take care and stay safe.